Welcome to the inaugural video blog for the Community Volunteer Programs. The Community Volunteer Programs are Bush Care, Street Care, Park Care, Wild Things. Okay, National Tree Planting Day, it's one of our big events, organised by Planet Ark, but we like to support it. We'll be throwing in 1,500 plants, and uh, we're hoping that a lot of the community in the St Ives area will come and help us. We're hoping to get every kid's face painted by a fairy, and we're hoping to give away lots of free sausages. 1,500 plants, face painting fairy, free sausages. You can't go past this for, a, for an event on the weekend. Well, we're also going to look at, in this video blog, the ACDB box. Well, today I'm standing here with Alan Ashurst, co-inventor of the ACD box. This box has been designed to house the Dragona beehive because we're having huge problems with extremes of temperature. In fact, last year, how many hives did we lose, Alan? About 20%. 20% of our hives lost to cold. It's got a lid. This means we can access the hive. We also have, effectively, a landing point. We also have a uh, pipe here with a thread on it, which screws into a metal flange. Uh, then we secure this to the uh, star picket for extra security. Look, I, I think actually this is going to become the industry standard for housing Trigona hives. It took five years in terms of development because uh, it was a series of things that we trialled before we got to here. Well, the last thing that we tried before this was we actually used this same box upside down and we thought that was the solution to our problem. Well, how about we have a look at it? Here is the, uh, the design before the ACD box. Essentially, it's the same box, but it's turned upside down and the air can get to it from beneath. The problem seemed to be on very cold days that we were losing too much heat and in fact, I think we lost about 20 hives last year. Okay, Alan, this is the first uh, version. That, yes, the, one of the advantages of the new version over this initially was the fact that it was 40 millimetres thick as opposed to 20 millimetres thick, the wall thickness that is. But as you said, the, the real problem with it was the fabrication just took us forever. Uh, this one, the, the one we use now, is, as you said, is a manufactured item and all we have to do is buy the box and fit the bits and pieces to it. Five years, five years from here to the ACD box. It's been a long journey, a lot of hives have died, but we think we're on a winner. Street care is expanding. Street care is big. We've got 26 groups, very, very popular. I think the essence of street care is that you can sort of get a piece of degraded uh, verge, work on it, fix it, it's done. Some bush care groups, 500 years later, they're still sort of not going to be finished. So street care is a really great program in that regard. The sort of people that we're really interested in becoming trainers for us are people who are already in the program as volunteers, but who had skilled up at TAFE. If you skilled up at TAFE with the Natural Areas Restoration course, or you've got the equivalent field experience, give us a ring. We're very interested in talking to you. We'd love to have you on our books. The environmental levy raises about $1.3 million a year. It's really, really essential because there's so many big projects that we just can't afford out of current budgets. So a lot of things like stormwater harvesting, $200,000 a pop. You just never can afford that out of our current budget. So uh, in this video blog, we're actually looking at some work being done down at the end of Kissing Point Road, uh, funded by the environmental levy. This guy's an artist. Look at him. So it's interesting, he's actually removing this rock because it's not quite right. All oh, right, composting. Yeah, so then they'll cap this from here right down there with sandstone. Excellent. So that no weed matter can come through. What we're doing, this is this pool we're building now. And there's a gradle go across there, which will catch all the leaves. So does it everything. get cleaned? Yeah, yep, right. There's a oh. pond, heavy armour. Armouring, you mean putting the rocks along the... Yeah. Well, it looks like a really worthwhile job. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, funded by the environmental levy. We've got the Conveners Forum on Sunday the 24th of July. The Conveners Forum is being organised by the Kringai Bush Care Association and we're supporting them. The idea is that it's an opportunity for the people who run the bush care groups to have a say and talk about what's happening, network a bit. And then we've also got a talk, Frogs and Frog Habitat, on Wednesday, August the 19th. That's a ripper if you're interested in frogs. It's on at uh, Hornsby Council Chambers. And if you're interested, please give us a ring. Thanks for checking us out. Look, we're, we're going to uh, spruce this up in the future, but we had a lot to say and we really want to make sure that we're starting to get this information out there. If you've got any inquiries, any questions, anything, uh, drop us a line, send us an email. Thanks a lot.